Welcome to our video on repairing a uh, door handle hinge for a Fiat 500. The um, hinge failure is a common problem for the Fiat 500. The um, small metal hinge at the front of the door handle over time uh, corrodes and has a tendency to shear. So to access the door handle we first need to remove the interior door card. Uh, this will allow us to access the bolts um, on the inside of the door which hold the handle in place. As you can see here I've uh, used a trim tool firstly to remove the circular surround on the interior door handle. Um, once that one's uh, pulled away um, we then need to remove this um, small cover located inside the interior door pull. As you can see here behind the cover there are two um, allen bolts which have to be removed. Um, on this particular model the only two bolts holding the door card in place. I have seen on other videos uh, some models have um, bolts on the uh, lower edge of the door card but not on this particular version. So here I'm using a 5mm um, allen key tool to, um, to remove the bolts. So once all the bolts are removed um, and stowed somewhere safe, I tend to use a, a magnetic um, dish for this so I don't lose any of the bolts. The door card is then simply held on with plastic clips. So once again I'm using another trim tool to pry the door card away from the door skin. So once the clips have um, released, it's just a case of pulling around the edges of the door card. Uh, and you might have to peel it a little at the top because it's sat on the um, top edge of the frame. So the door card now is only connected by the cable which goes to the interior door release handle. Um, this can simply be pulled away um, to release the door card. I found I didn't actually have to um, completely remove this. I was able to access what I needed simply uh, by propping the door card up. So here we need to cut through the foam um, at the back top edge of the door um, behind where the handle is. So once the foam is peeled back, um, you can see the bolt. This is the part that holds the front edge of the door handle in place um, and is directly onto the hinge that we're going to replace. So we're using a 10mm socket um, with an extension bar and ratchet. It doesn't take much pressure to release as they're not um, fastened on all that tight. Apologies for the sketchy quality of the video. I found trying to work um, with one hand and using one hand to hold the um, mobile phone I was using to make the video was rather difficult. So 
So once the bolt is released, the um, the front part of the handle will simply push out through the hole. So there we can see the um, the hinge itself. So we've got the part that fastens to the door. Um, at the bottom there you can see the pin and what should be the part that secures to the handle. Um, in this case it's sheared off so that part is still fastened to the back of the handle itself. So the back edge of the handle is held in with this torque screw um, on the on the back edge of the door. So releasing this single bolt now, um, well basically only the two bolts and a connecting rod to the door latch, um, that's the only thing holding the handle in at this point. And there just to show the bit at the top is the back of the door handle, the rod is connected to the latch mechanism uh, just below it. So we'll need to remove this rod which simply presses out. And then pulling the front part of the handle first, um, we can remove the door handle. Just take a little bit of jiggling just to get it to um, to release it from the door. So luckily the back of the handle does have a, a rubber gasket, um, which reduces the risk of actually damaging the paint when removing the handle. And obviously once the handle's out, I'll give the area a quick clean as well. So there is a um, lip on the back of the mechanism. So I found it best to push the handle back and then pull it out and then slide it forwards. this being the near side door there's no locking um, mechanism built into the handle. So there's the back of the hinge which is sheared, still screwed in place. This one uses a Phillips screw, I believe some use a Torx screw. And as if by magic there's our new hinge which I've um, fitted in place. Again I was struggling to, um, to film every part of the process. So and here is the genuine part. Which, uh, and obviously I've taped back up the foam. Once all that's done, it's just a case of um, reverse of what we've done earlier. So push the door card back into place. Obviously we check, make sure everything is working as it should be. Um, obviously the connecting rod's been put back in place from the handle to the hinge, uh, to the latch, sorry. So then uh, it's just a case of putting the um, hex bolts back in place and putting all the covers back. Um, incidentally a dealer would charge probably over a hundred pounds to repair the handle, um, may even replace the handle in its entirety. For this job it actually cost me uh, £6.95 for the part um, which I found on eBay and then obviously just sort of 20 minutes of my time. Um, uh, don't mind tinkering with things but I'm no mechanic so it's not it's not the most difficult a job anyone with um, a basic mechanical knowledge um, could carry this job out fairly easily. So thank you for watching our video. Um, for more help and advice, um, why not visit Fiat 500 Owners Club UK on Facebook. Thank you.